Well, thousands of people will take a walk this weekend. A mission that has a lofty goal built right into the title, the Walk to End Alzheimer's. It's tomorrow morning at City Park. And in the crowd, you'll find a man who's no stranger to the finish line, even if his memory of it is starting to fade away. So how was lunch? I didn't have lunch. You didn't have any lunch? No. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, you, did. you just ate lunch, you had fish. Yeah, fish. Yeah. Okay, yeah. fish. Yeah, well, sure, sure. But I mean, that's what you had to have. So dad noticed having memory problems before we did even. We thought, my brother and I thought that maybe he was just getting older and forgetting things. It was fun because I was so skinny. And then these guys come around and they, they're big, isn't it? Big. He grew up in Lahana, Colorado. And he was on the basketball team, obviously. Um, he won the state tournament, or the team won the state tournament in 1949. And they weren't expected to win. I don't know what it is. Dad just always has to be active. I don't know if it was just growing up, he always was. But ever since I can remember, Dad's been active. Oh, my God, the basketball. Yeah, I used to play basketball. Oh, gee. This is, I got three of these. Right. <laughs> Tigers, yeah. Yeah. Here it is right here. How old are you in that? Well, I don't know. I just got those things, guys, there. The hardest part is he, so he ate well, he's healthy, he was a runner, you know, and, and yet he got dementia, so you just, you know, you don't know. It was a surprise. So, you know, you just don't know who it's going to affect. Yeah, I said pretty good. Yeah. I was... Whew. Every once in a while I see the dad before dementia. I mean, there's moments. What? What are you doing? You're making a, you're making it go. And they're fleeting, but you know, I can see it. He'll remember something. He'll start talking about it, somebody or something in his life. So that's, you know, it's still in there someplace. <laughs> they just can't get to it. She's lovely. Many of you out there are probably thinking, that's sad, but it doesn't impact me. I'd be surprised if it really didn't. But I'll be frank with you, I used to think the same way. Then my dad, at 66 years old, was diagnosed with dementia last year. I was standing in a room today, I thought I could get through this, with three other people, and we could all name someone in our lives who'd been impacted by this disease. It's a monster, and it continues to grow and hurt more than just those with a diagnosis. So if you can't make it out for the walk tomorrow, I hope you'll join me tomorrow on the morning show for a thoughtful conversation about the disease and the people it impacts. 69,000 Coloradans struggle with Alzheimer's disease. We, as we step away, I'll look at some of the names you shared with us of those who struggle with it every day.